There's something extremely odd about Melina, and honestly, I think everyone knows that. Now, I know I'm not no lore channel, you know, I don't read every single item description of every single item in the game. I'm no Vadi Vidya, okay? But God damn it, I need to talk about this. I swear to God, for the last couple days, at like 3 a.m. when I'm trying to sleep, I just go back into my mind and think, what the fuck is Melina doing? So for the sake of being able to sleep at night, this video needs to be made. Now, I think this goes without saying, but obviously, everything in this video may not be 100% accurate. I might get some stuff wrong. I'm not the all-knowing god of Elden Ring, okay? I'm not Gideon. If anything, this video is just going to be food for thought. I'm going to point out a lot of weird stuff about Melina that I noticed, and I want to see what you guys think. Because honestly, I cannot find answers, and I need them bad so let's start at the beginning you first meet melina when you're blacked out on the floor and exposed for the few seconds that your character is conscious you can hear melina talking about elden lord stuff you know how it is and then you black out again after this i can only assume the events that took place in that cave must be something along the lines of a pegging oh session later you wake up and you have God. some flasks in your pocket they will be useful throughout your journey so god bless melina for that one nothing weird really happens until you talk to ronnie at the church of ella at night ronnie will appear at the church of ella after receiving torrent from melina when you first meet ronnie she actually lies about her name by the way she says her name is reina not ronnie when you first meet the blue goddess herself she says that she's heard talk of a tarnished riding around on a horse named Torrent, and then she asks if that is you. When you tell Ronnie that you are the one riding around on Torrent, she says, Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. This means that Melina and Reyna, who is actually Ronnie the Witch, know each other. As far as I know, Ronnie is the only NPC who ever comes close to mentioning Melina. And on top of that, if you didn't know, Ronnie the Witch is actually the person who started the shattering by stealing the Rune of Death. Kinda weird, right? How the only NPC in this game that comes close to mentioning Melina is Ronnie, the one who started all this bullshit. Melina trusting Ronnie to give you the spirit calling bell leads me to believe that either Melina and Ronnie are working together, Melina and Ronnie are related, or Ronnie was in debt to Melina and she had to do it. We can also assume that Melina told Ronnie to lie about her name, because when you go to talk to Ronnie in her tower, she straight up tells you that she is Ronnie the Witch and she is the one who stole the Rune of Death. She doesn't hide anything from you. So Ronnie has zero reason to hide who she is because she just doesn't care, I guess. Except for when Melina tells her to give you the bell. It's almost as if Melina told her to lie about her name so that you wouldn't know that Melina knows who Ronnie the Witch is, which is the person who stole the Rune of Death. Now for me personally, I think this is already enough information to say for a fact that there is more to Melina than we see in the game. There is no way that Melina is just a maiden that wants to make you Elden Lord. I think it's also important to note that Melina knows a lot about the Lands Between. She also knows a lot about Queen Marika, as she's able to just completely remember what she said long ago at different church sites. Words of Queen Marika. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika. Queen Marika. 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 Anyways, once you reach Lindell Capital, Melina leaves you. She says that she can govern her own movement there, and she's gonna go find her purpose given to her by her mother that she lost long ago. Now, why is it that Melina can govern her own movement in Lindell Capital? Now, this could be a reach, but hear me out. Black Knife Assassins. After Melina leaves you at Lindell Capital, the next time you see her is right before the Morgoth fight. You can actually summon her to help you fight him. If you saw my other video about Melina I posted a few days ago, you would know that her entire moveset is exactly the same as a Black Knife Assassin moveset, just recolored as holy damage. Also, the description of the Black Knife armor set states that all Black Knives were women. And funny enough, Right before you get to Melina's summon sign at the Morgoth fight, there is a Black Knife Assassin just guarding a doorway. I think the placement of this Black Knife Assassin was intentional, I don't think they just wanted to put one there. It's almost as if the Black Knife Assassin helped Melina get there, 
and it was guarding the door for her as she beat the fuck out of Morgoth or something like that. Like I said, it could be a reach, but she undoubtedly has some sort of connection to the Black Knife Assassins as she literally has their entire moveset. And on top of that, the knives of the Black Knife Assassins were infused with the Rune of Death when it got stolen and it was used to kill a bunch of demigods. Which brings us all the way back to Rani, oh as Rani is the one who God. stole the Rune of Death. Now with all this information, it really sets up Melina to look like a villain. However, as far as I know, she has no bad intentions at all. And it's really weird. In fact, when you try to do the bad ending, she literally begs you not to. She does a damn good job at it too, like I deadass did not want to do the ending anymore, I felt bad. She looked like she was gonna cry and it made me sad. A lot of people always assumed that Melina was actually like a servant of the three fingers because of the little mark she has on her eye. But that is not the case at all. In fact, she is scared of the three fingers and she does not want us to go near them at all. I assume Melina has some experience with the three fingers and maybe that's the reason why she has those burn marks on her hands. There's also the fact that when you do the three fingers ending and inherit the flame of frenzy, Melina transforms into goth Melina and she says she will kill you and she also unlocks her eye, which is like some renegon or something. So she definitely has some history with the three fingers. Anyways, fast forward to after you kill Morgoth, Melina tells you that she wants to go on a new journey with you to the Mountain of the Giants where she will light herself on fire so then the tree will burn and then you can become Elden Lord. On the way to the mountains at a grace point you do have the option to talk to Melina. She says, My purpose was given to me by my mother, but now I act of my own volition. I have set my heart upon the world that I would have, regardless of my mother's designs. I won't allow anyone to speak ill of that. Not even you. So this makes it seem like at Lindell Capital, Melina realized what her purpose was given to her by her mother. However, she doesn't agree with it and she's doing her own thing now. We never really figure out what the purpose her mother gave her was, but now Melina has decided for herself that she wants to sacrifice herself so we can become the Elden Lord and fix the world, regardless of what her mother wanted her to do. This completely destroys the Melina is a villain argument because clearly she is not a villain. She does not have any bad intentions at all, but she might have had bad intentions in the past. Who knows? Like, honestly, this, this whole Melina thing has me confused and I, I just can't find an answer, which is exactly why I'm making this video. So to sum everything up, Melina is odd. There is something she is hiding. There is something we don't know about her, but she's not evil. I wouldn't be surprised if this is not the last of Melina we have seen, even though she burnt to a crisp. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much about it. If you made it this far, as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoy, drop a like. If you're new, definitely subscribe, and I'm out.